Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matado and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez G and Z Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video here is all about on how to install the Persistent Rides mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require Lemon UI, so I will leave this inside my description below. Now before you do download Lemon UI, make sure that you just keep scrolling down and download version 1.5.2. Really important guys, download version 1.5.2. Download from here and now we can get straight into it now once you have downloaded all of your mods then all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open the file location now next go to your skits folder if you do not have skits folder then simply right click go to new and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. Now the first thing that we are going to install is Lemon UI. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then open up your SHVDN3 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your persistent extract folder. Then select all the files and folders except for the text file and then drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I will see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game with Franklin, so when you're in the game, okay, now the first thing that you must do is that you will need a vehicle, okay, just spawn a vehicle, or you can just grab a vehicle from the street, like what I'm doing right now. And now you can just grab this vehicle. Now what you must gotta do, okay, when you got a vehicle, all you gotta do is go to the customs if you want to, but uh, you can just use your menu, okay? Now, before I do carry on, I just wanted to let you guys know, okay, that these are a little bug on menu, because I already tested, okay, and I'll show you guys what is the bug, okay? I'll show you guys so you guys would know the proof. Now I do have the latest version for Menu, um, but somehow uh, there's a bug on Menu. So let me go to Vehicle Options, Vehicle Spawner, and then I'll just choose any vehicle, okay? Um, there you go. Now watch this, the vehicle will disappear. There you go, see? So somehow the vehicle disappears out of nowhere when you spawn it with menu. But if you spawn it with simple trainer, uh, okay, vehicle spawning, and I'll just choose um, 
muscle and I'll choose um, whatever vehicle muscle I'll choose this one over here okay now watch this this vehicle will stay okay and let me give it 10 seconds and as you can see it's still there so if you are going to spawn a vehicle using menu and if your vehicle does disappear then don't use menu for spawning vehicles because there is a bug on menu for spawning vehicles so but I only use menu to teleport to places so that's why I still got it now let's get straight into the mod okay now when you have a vehicle okay now to save your vehicle you will need to basically go to your trainer okay I will use menu and go to vehicle options then what you need to do is that you need to customize your vehicle okay now I would just only say suspension and then there you go see now when you get this message on your left hand side on your screen it will say the vehicle has been saved so go to your phone now go to your contacts go right down to the bottom and now call that phone and wait for a few seconds and I go to save the vehicle and you'll see your vehicle right there okay now what you gotta do is that you gotta teleport somewhere okay let me just go and grab Franklin and now uh, let me just go and teleport uh, let me let me just say teleport here okay over here and then now I will go to my phone go to contacts go to the bottom then go to the right wait for a few seconds then go here then now press enter and now it will give you two options delete your vehicle which you will not get it back or teleport to your vehicle and then there we go and now you're basically teleport to your vehicle whatever vehicle you had choose now your vehicle will be saved okay in the database so don't worry but yeah this mod is pretty basic and pretty useful uh, for those who wants to save their vehicles now this mod does work on all of other HKH191 mods so I hope you guys do enjoy this mod and now we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that but like always if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out